I messed up. I messed up badly. And, um, there's no coming back from this. This was entirely my fault. And I should have never done this in the first place. It was genuinely my fault. And this is one of the costs of, um, one of the few people to not only depart from this platform, but, um, one of the few reasons why my anger can get the best of me. And it's too late to apologize now, and I have to deal with the guilt, so. It is what it is. Now, I want to give full broad context of my perspective um, on what's going on. Basically, a fellow creator on our platform, or at least on my platform and network to be specific, um, is departing from YouTube and everything else because of a lot of issues that have happened over the years and one of them was because of me because of how i came off as rude disrespectful and everything else like that and um i was i genuinely was and i shouldn't have ever done that and one of the few things that also happened as well is that i never apologized for that faithful incident and um I should have apologized right after, but the only reason um, that happened was because, and in my mind, I thought she had stopped talking to me completely. But after noticing that she was starting to growingly talk to me more like within small conversations, I realized I had to perfect time to go and apologize to her and I didn't so that was genuinely my fault and I should have never should have never gotten upset with her for that now um my perspective there was a bit of um a shaky notion with her that I had and um it was one simple thing because I even noticed this entirely when it comes to Twitter and I've kind of noticed this slightly about her. She can be a little bit irrational from my point of view, because when it comes to like any particular drama that happens on a worldly wide, no YouTube platform or at least any platform at all, she seems to figure out a way to literally think on one side and don't even think about the other. And when I realized that she can be irrational when it comes to something that is very open-minded, it can be very, 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 very annoying because of the fact that not only it becomes annoying, but it also can be very well known as the fact that she can be very stubborn and stand on her opinions, which again, their opinions at the end of the day, I shouldn't get upset with that. Okay, cool. Now, there was a one incident that happened, and if you guys probably don't know, there was an incident on this platform where basically, um, Pewds literally, this, aka PewDiePie, um, literally got into a scandal about at least, I would probably say almost close to, I forgot how long ago it was, but, um, where he made a mistake about not knowing that somebody was deaf. And, of course, people had an uproar on it on Twitter, as usual. You guys already know how that goes. And when that happened, of course, what a surprise. Let's call her, let's call her Allie, just for the benefit of this video. Because I don't want to name drop her at this point. Um, Because of this particular video, I don't even think she wants to even talk to me after, after that. But, um... Basically, 
Allie came into the scene, and then she said everything as per usual as anyone would say, because I can understand if she hated feuds. Everybody can hate feuds for the shit that he's done. He said the N-word multiple fucking times, and that's perfectly reasonable. However, the thing that bothered me about this, and this was kind of an issue with my end, and I realized how stubborn she can be, was the fact that she literally immediately assumed that he was a good role model and he was supposed to be a good role model. Here's the issue with that. Cause I think a lot of people need to understand that when you're on a YouTube platform or any platform, it's hard to be human because again, it is abundantly clear that he has made countless and countless of mistakes. And hell, I even got a piss at the fact that he said the end and we're time and time again about, about that. And I already knew that. And you know what I did? I took a break from it. I had to reflect on it. And I realized, what can you do? I still love the guy. And at least he knew that he was wrong for saying it. As long as he knew that he was wrong for saying it, I got no problem with that. Now, a lot of people will tell me, like, hey, if you say the N-word, you get cut off, period. Why are you acting as if this is something that's completely different? Because I had to learn that, and this is coming from my parents as well, I had to learn that we just had to learn to get used to it, you know? Because at the end of the day, we can't do shit. I had a story, and for those of y'all who are new to this, I have a story on my YouTube channel saying how I almost got, got arrested for almost beating up an old man. Now. In that particular story, I made it abundantly clear that that old man said the N-word very loudly for everyone to hear. And I was about to get out the car and literally beat his ass for saying it. Now, my father stopped me and told me that no matter what the consequences is, we have to get used to it. And I also realized that he also saved me that day because if I would have actually went along with it, I would have actually went to jail for a long time. And Juvie, to be specific, because I was like, what, 16, 17? At the, no, actually, no, I was actually 17 or 18 at the time, so I could go to jail, yeah. Yeah, I can go to jail for that. And, um, yeah, it was just not bad, but back to the story at hand. Um... With me, I realize I can be a little bit more open-minded because I've been on the internet for so long, I kind of had to realize like not everything like is super sensitive to me because I came from an era that literally did not give a fuck about anything. Like they could say offensive jokes, they could say anything. Like so I chose to get used to it. However, like I said, when I literally heard him say this, of course, I took a year off and I had to reflect and I had to realize, like, as long as he didn't say it again, I'm good. Now, I'm also very aware that he also said it with the A as well, in the past as well. I'm mostly blaming some people, not only from his friend group, but most importantly, the fan base, for not telling him <laughs> not to say that. Because we, again... There are people in his community, in his fan base, that are black and didn't have the nerve to say a word about it. So, I was just, like, astonished by not only Pewds for saying this, like, at least two to three times, but also, I was also astonished by the people who didn't tell him to stop at this point. Because I'm sitting there like, you expect him to be smart about it, sure. But there are times where this man says dumb shit out of his fucking mouth. This should be already a clear red flag that you should at least tell him not to say these certain things that are off limits. And I already, I've known him for a long time. He is stupid as shit. He's very smart when it comes to anything, but as far as catching up to what he says half the time, he's blind and stupid as hell when it comes to doing that. Like, he is very stupid. So, I will openly agree to that. Now, 
back to the topic at hand. I want to make it very, very clear that what I did was very stupid and wrong, and I shouldn't have never done it. Now, when I made a video about, I don't know how long ago, I basically blamed Gangsta Rap for a certain thing that happened, and I shouldn't have done that. Now, she was one of the few people that told me that it was wrong. However, I took my anger out on her based on the pent-up anger that happened to the recent drama back then. Because if you guys remember and pay attention, I literally brought up the fact that she was so stubborn and willing to stick to her own opinion that stuck with me for a while and when um my boy brooke um brought me up to talk about it with her she one i basically yelled at her and because i want for one i was too angry with her about the whole incident that happened and it was very clear that I wasn't in the right mindset to talk to her about it. And two, I basically should have never yelled at her and went rude on her because at that point, it was completely unnecessary and unjustified. So, um, needless to say, I was stupid. I was an idiot. And I was a fool for literally getting upset with that. And yeah, I was wrong. And that's when I made the other video to clear up the fact that I was wrong. I didn't know any better. And of course, I was an idiot. And I'm, I took full responsibility for one, in being incorrect for what I said in the last video that got deleted. And most importantly, I'm taking full responsibility now to literally see this. I should have never gotten angry with her, and I should have never gotten angry like that point blank, period. It was a wrong approach. And now, I need to take this into consideration to be more charitable in the future, and not get angry with everybody that I talk to that has one-sided opinions and... That should be my basic focus going up to now. This will be a lesson to me. Definitely a lesson to me. And, um, this will be something that I have to reflect on to tell myself not to be toxic and not to do shit like that. So, it's going to take some time to do stuff like that but i'm gonna try at least because some people will deservingly take some of the things i've said but on the other hand there will be some people who will take it and me not knowing that i was wrong deciding not to say anything about it now, do I blame her for not saying anything about it? Absolutely not, because this was definitely on me. However, there will be times where I would be charitable to others, and when I do, I somehow end up in the biggest drama on our network, and I would be the center of the attention. Now, over time, I've realized that that has been genuinely my fault sometimes because I will admit that I let my anger get the best of me and that is the truth I did let my anger get the best of me and um it should not have happened now I will say this with the benefit of the doubt and I know it's too late to apologize about this but I am genuinely sorry and I'm sorry I didn't have enough time to do so and say sorry um, when we had small talks and all that stuff. Um, I should have apologized for my toxicity. And I'm really not hoping that you forgive me because, yeah, 
that was stupid of me. And for those of you who are still here, um, I was genuinely wrong. I was genuinely wrong for the shit that I did. And, um, all I can hope is to be a better person because it's too late to apologize for the shit that I've done. Now, there are certain people that don't deserve my apology, and there are some people that actually do deserve my apology. This is one of the situations where someone definitely deserves my apology instead of what I did. 